एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप फाइन गाइस एज आई हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड माई सेल्फ इन अवर इनोग्रेशन वीडियो ऑफ प्लेजेंट क्लासेस गाइस माई सेल्फ नव्या त्रिवेदी एंड एक्टिविटी इन चार्ज ऑफ दिस टीम एंड अगेन आई ऑनरेबली वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू प्लेजेंट क्लासेस गाइस एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू अर्लियर दैट आई एम एन वन ऑफ द प्लेजेंटियन एंड एन एक्टिविटी इन चार्ज ऑफ दिस टीम so by these lines some persons have understood that for which purpose today i am here but still some people are in a way of thinking that why so firstly i want to tell you that today i am here to help all of you in some basic or interesting activities related to science subjects guys hope you all like it before starting my activities and before sharing my views regarding my activities i want to tell that guys books are not everything studies are not everything the only thing that matters in your life is your passion and is your hard work regarding to your aim that's not mark that's not important that those students who always scored 90% marks or above 90% marks will get success in their life they will become successful person or they will become great that is not true that the students who will score 60% marks or less than 60% marks will not do anything they can't uh, they can't do anything in this world and they will not become successful they will also become successful somewhere it is very important that we have to maintain our personality and we have to do hard work regarding our aim to become successful in our As life everyone know that all peoples are having different aims in their life all are having different choices to become something like some want to become doctor some want to become engineer and some want to become dancer or some want to qualify nda etc and so on so guys all are having different choices in their life there is no need to do same and become a copycat there is no need of this behind these things there is always one thing that that varies important very much and that is our interest guys if you are having interest in anything then after some time that thing will become your favorite you are having a passion in it and somewhere it is your be it becomes your passion by taking all these things in our mind our team member our whole team has decided that with studies we will also provide you some extra things like activities etc and that's why today i am here guys today i will explain you three to four activities hope you all like it and try to understand the concept behind the activities so our first activity is air o2 is required for combustion or we can say that oxygen is needed for burning guys as we all know that air is a mixture of gases air constitutes is 78% nitrogen 21% oxygen and 1% carbon dioxide and other gases like uh, helium methane etc so guys this activity described that oxygen is must necessary for burning of fire so guys firstly the activity is to demonstrate air o2 is required for combustion the materials required is only that two plates two glasses two candles and one matchstick so guys firstly we have to do procedure so firstly we have to take two plates and place both the both the plates on this table then we have to take both the candles and place the both the candles on the plates now we have to burn both the candles with the help of matchstick guys be careful in this process now placed one by one glasses on both the candles guys the result is in your front you can see that and you can observe that the candles will extinguish their fire this is because when we place the glass on this the oxygen level goes down and it contains no oxygen that's why the fire will extinguish now the conclusion is 
oxygen is must necessary for burning of fire without oxygen we can't burn fire thank you second activity is fire in water guys as you all see that name it is very interesting activity and hope you all like it so guys in this activity we have to demonstrate that fire in water we have to put fire in water in this activity so now the materials required is only we have to take one glass filled with water normal water and then we have to take one nail paint and, and firstly we have to take one glass filled with water and then we have to take nail paint and put this some nail paint on in this water guys now we have to take match stick and burn that match stick slowly we can see that the fire extinguish the fire burn in water this activity describe that we can with the help of chemicals present in it like the chemicals like formaldehyde dbp and toluene chemicals these all chemicals are known as toxic trio or three big chemicals that help the snail paint that present in this snail paint and that helps the fire in water nice. thank you our third activity is air is released through stomata in leaves guys as we all know that stomata is that part of leaf or that part of plant in which all the energy of leaf is stored and we can as we all know that chlorophyll is a green pigment that is present in leaf so guys in this activity we have to demonstrate that air is released through stomata in leaves the materials required is leaf and we have to take one bowl that is filled with warm water so guys let's start our procedure firstly we have to take one bowl that is filled with warm water as you have see there guys no need to be tensed we will show you uh, we will show you this by doing this a zoom now we have to take one leaf one green leaf and put it in the bowl and as we can see that the pores present in leaves are glowing up and that show that the stomata present in leaves and that stomata present in leaves is showing the pores and that is released oxygen by this pores the oxygen is released in stomata thank you guys our fourth activity is gravitational force attract any object towards earth guys firstly i want to tell you that this is not any kind of activity this is the basic concept relating to science subject so in this activity the only material required is only one ball that is easily sufficient for hold the activity so guys as we all know that the force between the earth and the any object is called the gravitational force or gravity of the earth so guys as we know that isaac newton a great american scientist discovered gravity when newton see that the apple is falling from tree he see that and he observed that why it is happen it is because of the gravitational force toward the apple and the earth so guys without wasting any time let's start our activity firstly we have to take one ball and drop it from the height and catch we see that the activity the work that is called the gravity here without gravity the ball will not drop from the height it is placed it on the it is placed it on the space no gravity is formed no gravity is formed and when no gravity is formed the ball will not drop from a height so the conclusion is that without gravity any object do not attract toward earth thank nice. you hope you like my all activities and my all my hard work present here guys i want to tell you that we are having our logo with our name pleasant classes on telegram also guys kindly like my video subscribe our channel and kindly comment on it how was it thank you it's caught in the crossfire